brush my teeth, I smile, but there is always this frown. I think I'll run away with the ants and live on Mars. I'm fortunate because I'm a poet and poets are allowed to be hopeful. I used to dream radical dreams of blowing everyone away with my perceptive powers of correct analysis. I don't remember a lot of things. But a lot of things that I don't remember, I don't choose to remember. Childhood remembrances are always a drag if you're black. I remember what's important and I make up the rest. That's what storytelling's all about. I even used to think I'd be the one to stop the riot and negotiate the peace. Would you ever say that some of your poems were inspired by stress or hate? Were you ever bullied by your skin color when you were younger? Have you ever had like a breakdown or you can't take anymore where you just can't do it? But there has to be a way to do what we do and survive. Our ancestors taught us how to do that. The one thing that I did know is whatever life would be, I knew I had to create myself. To successfully go to Mars and back, you will need a song. And maybe a six pack, so if there is life on Mars, you can share. Popcorn for the celebration when you land, while you wait on your land legs to kick in. And as you climb down the ladder from your spaceship to the Martian surface, look to your left, and there you'll see a smiling community quilting a black-eyed pea watching you descend. <laughs>